So we got the weld tight tubeless repair kit. Timely that I found this just after I ruined. So this is the tire from the Banshee Phantom that I demoed not that long ago that Rushy got me. Aggressor double down 2.5 killer tire. My favorite tire go to for the rear. Now I put a cut in the top literally the first corner of the first run I did on this uh, at Moriata. So not the first run I did of the bike but the first run at, at Moriata dropping into that first corner first left hander somehow managed to put this nasty long cut probably glass I don't know I'd say it was glass there's a long cut and there's always people throwing bottles off the side of the road there so it's right up the edge of the right on the side of Norton Summit Road that start so I've had to patch it enter the weld tight tubeless repair kit now if you're gonna patch a tire that's flexible and is built to conform to terrain and move and you know it's, it's dynamic you want to use a glue that is also dynamic and and flexible and and you know able to move with the tire and, and still create a hold a good bond this kit comes with super glue which is the opposite it's not flexible at all once it dries it's it's hard as nails and it just cracks as soon as you put any sort of bend or flex through it so rubbish rubbish you can't you, tire cement use rubber cement tire cement uh yeah what every glue patch kit every patch kit has come with since the 80s or 90s uh, so i don't know why they've gone with the super glue but it doesn't work it's it's terrible so i patched it initially and it just it was no good it, it as soon as it cracked then i could peel this whole thing off and it was it was done for the patches however uh maybe they're a little bit thicker than a standard tube patch maybe maybe not i'm not too sure but i'd say that's just a standard tube kit a standard tube repair kit patch so maybe a little bit stronger i don't think so when i peeled the other one off it definitely wasn't didn't show any signs of oh this is a bit more robust or or anything like that so a good quality puncture repair kit is probably got the same or similar so they're all right they're okay comes with a little bit of sandpaper don't go too hard on the sandpaper you can see i've exposed a little bit of the bead here or a little bit of the the wire in the or whatever it is kevlar in the tire from sanding the old glue off and and the initial mess that i made off but anyway i've gone to shoe glue let's let's go get this shoe glue so you can see who you barking at who you barking at into the dungeon here we go shoe fix Sellies, if it sellies, it works, allegedly. So I got the old shoe fix thinking, yep, that might work. Saw old mate Dotty on GMBN talking about using a vulcanizing fluid, which I have no idea what that means, but my interpretation is use a flexible glue that works, and shoes are moving all the time, so I figured that's that's the way to go. Shoe glue. So I've gone the shoe glue, I've let this patch sit for a few days, and it's fine. It's not cracking, it's not breaking, obviously it's a little bit hey gone, but I think it's going to do the job. So I'm going to set this up, I'm going to smash out, I've just done a review of this DHR2 on the back, so I'm going to smash that tyre, I'm going to wear it, wear it out a bit more, and then put the aggressor back on with a obviously a cush core and uh, it's the only thing I don't like about the DH tire not that you can't run a cush core but it's just this bike's already heavy enough and I don't want to go too much heavier unnecessarily because I like climbing I like doing big long climbs and and uh, you know earning my descents so so far so good honestly that is a way better finish and a way better uh, it seems to me like it's going to be much more effective it seems to me like that the 
it's going to do a good enough job that the fluid's not going to... And I mean, this plastic around it, you can hear it crackling and whatever, that's... You can peel that off anyway. That's not a big deal. It's the patch that matters, and it seems like the patch is in place securely over the cut. And the cut's probably a good 10 mil. It's probably almost the distance of the black part of the patch. So it's a big cut, big job, uh, big expectations. And so far, I reckon I'm onto it with the shoe glue. But the weld tight patch kit, I'm sorry, but super glue is a terrible idea, in my opinion. Just put this standard rubber cement in. It's bloody cheap as chips anyway. And it's what we've been using effectively forever for patching tubes and, and whatnot. So I'd love to see the rubber cement over the over this nonsense in a tubeless patch kit. But anyway, weld tight, eh. the patch is okay. This stuff was about 10 bucks, I think, maybe cheaper, shoe fix. Oh, it might've been a bit more expensive, it might've been 15 bucks. But I think that's the way to go. I think, holler at me if you've got a better idea with the glue of what to use to patch and, uh, you know, or what your method is to patch. Let me know what it is, but for now, I reckon this is a this is a success.